Welcome back. We have Vivov here and today we're going to talk about one of the most amazing nights in US Speedway history. It was amazing and nowhere online like in Google or Yahoo can you find it. So we're going to talk about it right now. The 1975 US Speedway National Championship at the LA Coliseum. This was the godfather of Speedway, Harry Oxley's most famous promotion. He rented the Los Angeles Coliseum for a national championship. I was a young spear rider, just to finish my first few weeks of racing in D3, and I was proudly at that event wearing my bell helmet's jacket. What was more amazing than Harry Oxley's promotion was the writers, the list of 16 top United States writers. And we're gonna talk about those right now. Steve Bass was the current number one national champion. He was seeking his third national championship. Alan Crazy Christian, the top writer from Northern California, seeking another number one plate. The Rocket, Rick Woods, the top superstar from Huntington Beach, California. Lightning Larry Shaw, he was fast as lightning. Mark Cherry in his first national championship. And the person who won that national championship, Mike Bass, with a perfect score of 15 points. Sexy Jeff Sexton, he missed winning last year's national championship by one point. Sonny Nutter, one of the most famous and popular writers of his time. Rich McMurray, the current number one plate holder in Northern California. Scott Sivage, a very hot, fast rider, expected to do really well. Wild Bill Cody, a famous rider, and he was one of the original five to help bring Speedway back to the United States of America. Bruce the Fox Penhall, future United States and two-time world champion. Mike Caruso, a very powerful and strong rider. He can win just about any national championship. Dangerous Doug Farrell. He finished second place that night in the national championship with 12 points right behind Mike Bast. Bobby Boogaloo Swartz. Bobby didn't win that night. That was his first national championship, but he went on to win multi-national championships and world best pairs championships with Bruce Penhall. <music> Lastly, Jim the Animal Fishbeck. He was that rider who flew three rows into the stadium that night and broke an old lady's leg. We'll talk about that one. The 1975 United States National Championship at the LA Coliseum was one of the most amazing events. You had to be there. It was one of the greatest nights in US Speedway. And like I mentioned, you can't find it anywhere online except for right here. It was amazing. There was lots of activities. The announcers were great, the trophy girls, the people in the stands. The stands were packed at the Los Angeles Coliseum. Mike Bass won that championship with a perfect score of 15 points. Dub Farrell finished second with 12. And tied with 12 was a reserve rider. Amazing, Steve Nutter. He went ahead as a reserve rider and finished on the podium third place with 12 points. I guess there was a tiebreaker between Dub and Steve Nutter and Dub won that. But amazing, a reserve rider, Steve Nutter got third. We haven't mentioned him before. And there was several amazing sponsors. And we want to mention them. It's 35 years later and we're going to honor those sponsors.
I'm serious. That was one of the best speedway nights in U.S. history. It was amazing, like I mentioned. And that experience with Jim the Animal Fishbeck. I was sitting five rows behind the wall, and this old lady was hey, sitting, and he crashed, and he flew over the wall. He said he doesn't like to race the desert because there's not a lot of people to watch him wipe out. Well, he wiped out right. He wiped out right in front of me and broke this old lady's leg in three places, and she screamed. And Jim Fishback gets up and says, sorry, lady. And then he climbs over the wall and he gets on his broken bike, but then he has to push it back to the pits. It was an event that was well worth your money. If you paid to see that race, you really got your money's worth. Those riders back in the 70s were just classic. I mean, they were just amazing. Several of them have since passed away, rest in peace. We miss you guys. And you guys just performed, they performed an amazing show. And we really appreciate that experience at the Los Angeles Coliseum. Thank you so much for watching this video. It means a lot to me and for subscribing to my channel and joining the family of viewers. If you like this content, please subscribe. And thank you so much. So please like, share, subscribe, and ring that bell.